By the way, several years ago I did a sepia uh, sketch of this and here's the reference photo for it. This is a fun little drawing that I, or a sketch that I'm doing of this old farm, stone farmhouse. It was on Highway, I'm sorry, Road 4 um, in Oxford County, just east of, um, of uh, Woodstock. I thought it would make a great little sketch. I'm not sure if I'll put the road in or not. Maybe I'll just make that a field with some fences on it. But, we have a couple of little windows in here. One down here, little ones in here, and then actually they're much higher. And we've got all kinds of uh, tree shapes and stuff in there. I'm going to begin this sketch with a fine line marker. Just my normal way of doing things. to readjust this uh, land landscape there there we go tiny little spot there tiny little spot there another one just below it it's not so much the real tiny details that you have to concern yourself with it's just getting in uh, the major shapes. And we got a little couple of little dark spots in there someplace. And then that comes down. There we go. There. And there. I'm going to shorten this compared to the uh, the drawing or uh, the uh, there we go. Uh, looks like we got a fairly dark spot there and one there. And let's put in some chimneys. And our one here we'll leave as a negative space.
I'm going to change that a bit so that I don't see quite so much road. Anyway, I think that takes care of that. I'm actually going to put um, a bit more um, fine line drawing in this just to uh, push things back a bit. Not a real big fan of cross hatching, but sometimes that's the only way you can get a kind of value. Um, I'm going to make some different lines in here to give the concept of. Uh, it's going to take a while. I don't think I'll put you through this, but I'll give you an idea of what I'm doing here. But I just want to. Um, uh, put in a texture that kind of looks like um, uh, stone just by changing the, uh, the direction of these lines and putting them fairly close together. I won't, I won't put you through this because quite honestly it's going to take a while so I'll cut out here. I'm still using this uh, changing the direction of parallel lines to create a texture here that hopefully will represent the uh, the stonework that's in there. I kind of spared you of about two or three minutes of just watching this. Okay, that takes care of that, I think. Um, I'm going to put in um, some sort of grass kind of textures in here too. That may have to be a bit darker. We'll come back and correct that in a little while. Okay, we'll call that finished for now. We got a brand new medium tip Sharpie here that I'm kind of excited to use. I was using the double enders but quite honestly they run out of ink kind of quickly so so what I got to do here is put in the uh, the shadow underneath and fill in some of the darks. I think there's a little one in here too. And up here we got one. Got another one. A little bit underneath it. And we got some strange bits down there. And one that comes down like that. And we got uh, actually a fairly thin line that comes down here. And this is a fat. Or might have been a door there and another window I'll break that out it's looking not too bad actually put that in and yeah we got this one too kind of want to separate the the building from the uh, the grass that's there so I just put some dotted lines in dotted bits in there all right now We've got a whole bunch of stuff going on in here, so I'm going to start to uh, to fill in. Fairly simple. I just put in a, a shape in here. Being careful to leave the chimney as a negative space, and then I can. Uh, and making all kinds of weird noises here but usually it has a center part that comes down that we can just fill in all of this right to here and 
we got another one that kind of comes in here like that. I think we'll just stop talking and let the, uh, the music from the pen continue. kind of swingy moment motion there you get to uh, sort of leave the uh, ah, I'm gonna pause this for a minute I lost my image there for a while so I had to go back and adjust it the screensaver so we've got that one got a little one here I like the kind of accidental sky holes that show up when you make a kind of scribble with this thing, or with this uh, Sharpie pen. Now, we've got two. This one comes out like so. A little higher one. This is actually the highest one. But there's two there. There seems to be kind of a gray area in there, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm just going to leave a spot for it. I'll put in some cross hatching or something in there later. some shapes in here that not completely fill it up but uh, no got a couple of thin little lines in here two of them fairly close together one separated and we got one that one here I'm filling these After a while, you just make it up, you know. And you got one there that's got a split on it. Let's get back onto this side here. We've got uh, kind of a triangle one in here. Some bits coming off the side. I like doing these trees. I don't spend a lot of time. I'm sort of bluffing it, as you can well tell. Now it gets down to be quite solid down through here. All right. One last tree to do. Just a little one. A little shape in there. A bit coming out. I think they're spruce trees, actually, as I understand it. Spruce trees have all their needles pointing down as if they're tired, and pine trees have them all pointing up as if they're creating a hand to hold you. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's get this one in. I am looking at the reference to do this, by the way, just in case you didn't know. And I got a big black spot that goes down into here. I could have used a chisel point, but I got a bit more control with this, doing it this way. And yeah, I'm just
Okay, now I'm going to put shadow line in there. And I'm just going to put dots in here, which will sort of break up that spot. That was what I was going to always do anyway. That makes it look like well, there's something in there. got some foliage in here I moved a lot closer to uh, uh, to the house but I'm gonna actually find that a bit more Uh, okay, we'll call that a... I'm going to go back to the fine line marker uh, and start to fill in some of, the, sh some of the, the tones in the tree here just to push those back because it's quite honestly and rather than doing a really disciplined crosshatch I'm just going to go nuts and, and fill that in a bit. Now, this is going to have it's kind of a bit open so we're just going to fill in some of it with fine line by the way if you'd like to support the channel have a look at buy me a coffee in the link description below any any support would really really help and appreciate it if you could do that anyway let's just move on here all right so I'm going to actually darken that up a bit back in there because it is pretty dark. I'm going to tidy up some of these lines in here. And a bit of a tin roof there, so I'll just put a few lines in. I think that kind of does it actually. All right, so while I'm touching up, I'm going to grab the old wider marker here and put in a better line in there so it's not quite so straggly. Now we've got some fence posts that are going up here like so. And some spots there. Right. We'll put in a few uh, smaller fence posts as they get get farther away. And closer together. Put a few twigs in there. I think I'm going to do some some field stuff in here too. Do you remember I was talking one time before where I actually um, make all of these lines and they're smaller as they're farther away and big, bigger as they get closer to you. It's going to be difficult to keep the scale on this but uh, I shall try. goes this way so we'll just leave the road in push some of this a little bit farther back just by scribbling over it I'm not a patient person so cross hatching would make me crazy not that I haven't got a head start anyway one last thing because I got kind of uh, sloppy here 
is that I'm going to take and use a white gel to touch up, touch up some of the stuff in here that kind of bugged me. That's good. I'll bake up some of that, some of this. Okay, come back in and put in some white again in there. Normally, if I were careful, I would leave it. Now, uh, there's a bit of um, stuff there that should be filled in. Make it look better. Okay, I think that's pretty, pretty much it, right? I'll put this one in. Tidy it up. Okay, I think it's time for the old RDM. And I will now start to put in the uh, the surround. If you're new to my channel, have a very special welcome. And please take a second to say hello and introduce yourself in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get notice of new coming, upcoming sketches. By the way, I'm doing one, I'm providing, up publishing or uploading one of these every two weeks. And while you're at it, coming up is the screenshot, or take a screenshot of the reference photo, so that you too can do a sketch and uh, try it out. Make an attempt at it. It's kind of a fun thing to do. Anyway, take care. It was fun doing this, and I enjoy it every bit. Have a great day.